Well, after a successful launch of the Kira Eve and Kira Eve Smart, engineers at Uganda's and Kira Motors Corporation have done it again. They've recently unveiled the first solar-powered bus, a 35-seater dubbed Kayola. BOS Paul Ndiho recently visited Kira Motors in Kampala and has our report. For those who thought that it's impossible to manufacture anything in Africa, think again. Kira Motors, a corporation, earlier this month unveiled its 35-seater Kayola bus. The Ugandan car manufacturer is slated to start commercial production of the Kira brand vehicles and Kayola passenger buses by 2018. The cost of the bus is estimated at about $58,000 and is expected to create more than 7,000 jobs. This is just another example built by incredibly talented young Ugandans. It's designed here and built here in the Ugandan capital, Kampala. The bus, a codename the Kayola, with its striking design, is one passenger service vehicle that commands attention. It has a range of 80 kilometers when fully charged and it also has solar panels on its roof, which give it a daily range extension of 12 kilometers. Last year, Kira Motors, a corporation, gave the Voice of America an exclusive behind-the-scenes access, so let's take you inside. Dr. Sandy Stevens Tagboa is the state minister for higher education and technology. We we'll build this to address the public transportation problems. You have been in town, you have seen all those 14-seater things jamming all the place. But we said, whatever we're doing should contribute to us addressing the major problem of uh, unemployment, which I think is very, very huge in this country. It drives and feels like any regular passenger bus on the market. For those who had any doubts, it's time to let everyone know that Kayola bus has arrived. Today is the Kayola solar bus, the first of its kind designed and built in Africa by Kira Motors Corporation, an automotive startup which started at Makere University, and today it's a government program for industrialization. Paul Isaac Musasizi, the chief executive officer of Kira Motors, says that the Kayola bus has an impressive power and was designed to thrill and intended for urban areas rather than inner city use because of the restrictions on how far it can travel. The uniqueness of this bus we see behind here today is that uh, it has a powertrain architecture which provides for two power banks. One is the primary power bank and the other is the secondary power bank. This condition is transient. At any one time, the primary power bank is responsible for delivering energy for propelling the vehicle and the secondary power bank is available for, for charging from CES solar. This bus was recently taken on a test drive they viewed at a public exhibition in Kampala. As for my review, Kayola presents itself well. What distinguishes the bus's exterior design from most buses on the market are the details. Leather interior and smooth transition from glass to sheet metal that makes it look sleek. Doreen Orishaba is one of the company engineers. Really? Looking forward to launching this product? Definitely. It's really exciting. And it's interesting when you're out there, everyone is asking you all sorts of questions. And it's very encouraging to know that Uganda is actually waiting for this and we are here to do this. We are here to have these cars out as soon as humanly possible. Kampala, like many African capital cities, has a fast-growing population and a rapid urban development that has meant more cars on the road. So it's beneficial to have locally manufactured passenger buses that could ease roads jammed with traffic. Paul Diho, VOA News.